Welcome back, welcome back to another episode, another edition of Real Life with the Watts. Today I'm getting a late start this morning. I wasn't even gonna go, it's kind of a last minute type trip. It had got a little rain come through this morning, so I wasn't gonna come out, but it's, it kind of cleared up, so I decided to go and jump out here for a little bit. So, so I'm gonna see if I can get on a few fish real quick and get off the water in probably a few hours, but, but appreciate all the likes, the shares, the subscribes. I just wanna, just wanna say I appreciate that, man. I really appreciate the love I'm getting on the channel. And if you do, do your boy a favor, go on hit that subscribe button if you're watching. If you like the content, just go on hit that subscribe. Right, drop a comment. Tell me if you like what I'm doing. I so sure appreciate it. Stay tuned. Go, baby. Fish on. What we got? What we got? A little drum. Yeah, that's a big one. 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 First action of the day. Little baby. So what I like to do, throw it right up against the rocks, close as I can, typically, because the fish are uh, ambushed. Most, most fish, trials reds, they're ambushed. So they wanna try to make it easy as possible to, to corner their bait. So they'll kind of run the bait up into the rocks. So they, they kind of troll along the rocks and um, Look for look for bait. And they'll push the bait right up against the rocks to uh, so that it's easier for them to catch. So I like to throw throw my line right as closest to the rocks as I can get them, and just let it kind of drift, you know, up and down. The, see, just like that, and they just went under. It came back up. So I like to let it go under for a few seconds to make sure the fish commit. They've been down for a little bit, just like that. Got a little something on here. Know what this is. What we got? Another little drum. It ain't big enough, but still fun to catch. But that's that's typically the way I fish. I like to throw right up against the rocks using the popping cart. Let it drift up right right along the rocks. And you normally know pick up some fish. More likely than not. I feel like my shrimp flew off. Could be wrong. Nah, it's still on there. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't fishing on credit. Yeah, I throw right up against the rocks. I'll pop it a little bit. You know, reds are curious. So if there's any reds over there, I kind of pop it, kind of get their attention, make some noise, see if they'll come check it out what the noise is and see that, see that little shrimp dangling there, a little easy, little snack. See if they'll pick it up. Y'all watch that line for me. Let me know if it go down. I thought y'all was gonna watch it for me. Now I just saw it go down, so something interested. See if it's gonna come back for it. There we go. And I'm gonna take it. So I'm playing with it. Hopefully it ain't took the bait off the hook. Sit there a little bit longer, see if it come back. It maybe took the bait off. Normally, if it go down, come back up, it'll it'll come back forward. If it's just sitting, it probably took the bait off. No, I didn't take it. Might have been a little. Oh yeah, that's what it did. <laughs> it ate what it wanted. Left the scraps for me, I guess. 
Yeah. Be like that sometimes. Fish on, fish on, baby. Little puppy drum. Oh, that's a nice drum. That's a keeper drum. Come on here, tell me, baby. Come on over here. Come on. There we go. Number one for the box. One for the box. Another nice quick guy. Quick guy. That's a, that's a little rat red. A little baby red. That came to play. Dang, these boys are so aggressive. He just swallowed the whole hook. A little baby red. Little rat red, we're gonna let him he make it. There you go, buddy. He got it. So, right here, I'm, I'm tying a uni knot where I'm connecting my braided line to some floor carbon needle line. This is the way that I set up for my free line where I can just tie me a hook on the end of my floor carbon needle line and uh, put a little pinch weight on there. This is what I'm doing right here in this time in uni now. A little carbon. That's a good word. I'm going to try a little free line, eh? That's a method of fishing I really like to do, but I hadn't did it in a while. Just uh, put a shrimp on now, little hook, and put a little weight just to keep it down. You can feel every little, I love this weight because you can feel every little thump, every little. If the shrimp is popping, you can feel it when you free line. Fish coming by, tapping on it. You can feel every little, every little thing going on. We got here a croaker. One thing about free line, you got to have light enough tackle to be able to flip, flip that light. Just a shrimp out there, flip a real lightweight. I normally use my spinning reel for this type of fishing. There we go. You got that. Might be a little flounder. I don't know, another draw. Light draw. Come on, buddy. You caught. You caught, big boy. There you go. There we go. You caught. You caught, buddy. That's a black drum. That joke a dark. I don't know what it is. Some of them be darker than others, but they all eat the same. That's two casts, two fish for my free line setup. 
like I said, it's 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 hard for a fish to get away on free line because you can you can feel, you can feel every little thump, every little thing to where it's hard for them to slide off on you, steal your bait. Drum drum. I don't think he's big enough. We're gonna see. Nah, I'm pretty sure. Gotta be 14, 13. Yeah, inch shot, buddy. Inch shot, inch shot. Big baby, it's a nice trout. There we go. Nice trout. That's what I'm talking about. That's it right there. That's it right there. Nice trout. There ain't no gator, but it's a fat, fat girl. Nice trout. Nice solid trout there. Nice solid trout right there. Nice solid trout. Yeah, buddy. That's some good eating now, baby. There we go. Fish on. What we got? Oh, yeah. What we got to? That may be another trout. I feel like some head shake. A little, little red. A little rat red. A little baby. A little baby red. I can run out of bait. See if I can get me a red in the box before. I'm only. I know, huh? Mm hmm. A red red. Mm. Thank you all. Cause you. There we go. What we got? That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. What we got? That's a red fish. No, oh, he ain't big enough. Wow, there's some pretty colors though. Ooh, pretty. The blue tail. Golden. He ain't big enough, but he's pretty though. Nice, pretty red fish. Got the blue tail. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful.
Oh, oh, oh shit. Dang. That was Jack Reveal. <laughs> Jack Reveal hit that joke. I see the tail. Alright, so that's gonna do it for today. Um I had a pretty decent day. I actually fished all my bait out. I started throwing my crankbait a little bit and uh, they, they wasn't hitting it. And I had a, I had a Jack Cavell come up and grab it for a second and let it go. But uh, cause I seen him, he was right there on the top of the water. I was throwing that crankbait. But uh, man, I said, so all in all, I was only fishing maybe three and a half hours and uh, had a lot of action. A lot of action, man, caught some red reds, caught one nice trout, kept keep a trout and I caught Caught quite a few rat uh, drums, undersized drum, but I was able to to get uh, two nice ones, two keeper size that I'm actually, you know, donating to my dad. He said he wanted some fish. I wasn't even gonna keep any more drum. I caught so many, but uh, he said he wanted some, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna clean them up and give them to my dad. But uh, yeah, man, I'll say all in all, it was a good day. I, especially considering that I wasn't even gonna fish today. The weather got, got kind of uh, bad this morning. It was a wave of storms that came through. So I was like, nah, I'ma just chill out. I ain't gonna fish today. And uh, once I got up around seven, eight o'clock, I seen how nice it was and I checked the radar and I didn't see any more storms in the forecast. So it's like, man, let me go and get up and get out. And uh, so I didn't even get on the water till about 10 o'clock. Yeah, about 10, 10.30, now it's like, 139 so I was on out here a few hours and had some decent action for the day and uh I just want to say I appreciate all the love I'm getting on the channel man y'all viewing y'all watching the I hope y'all enjoying the content I see y'all watching the videos but do your boy a favor if you don't mind if you're watching this video just hit that subscribe button for me I, it will be greatly appreciated I appreciate all the love I'm getting so far but if you just hit that subscribe button drop a comment let me know what you like what you don't like about the channel I greatly appreciate that man I'm trying to get to that 1k I'm trying to get to that one coming Hey, I never would have thought I would even be this close in a matter of probably six months, but I'm getting close, man, and I, I just want to see if I can make that 1K, man. I, I, it'll be appreciated if y'all just subscribe to the channel if you're watching, if you're not already subscribed. And, uh, man, once again, I appreciate the love, appreciate the likes, the, uh, the comments and all that. Until next time, God bless.